Hello again, welcome back to my channel. It doesn't contain marzipan. Today I am doing the first curry on this channel and it is gonna be the simplest thing you've ever seen. If you're opening boxes marked curry powder or jars marked curries, forget it. Try this one, really, really simple. So what have we got going on? Well, for a start, I've got the tripod to work so you can see everything, unlike some of my previous videos. So what we got, we're gonna have a red lentil curry. So you can see the red lentils back there. And we're gonna have a dadka that goes in it, a sauce. So essentially it's dadka dal, I think that's how you say it. But it really, really, really simple. We're gonna boil the lentils, that with the basis of the, the soupy curryness. And then we will cook these ingredients, garlic, a couple of dried chilies, uh, ginger, couple of onions and some ghee and then throw that into the lentils right at the end with some cumin and a little bit of chilli powder. Today is brought to you by the gloriousness that is Hawkston IPA. This is Jeremy Clarkson stuff and I love it, really do. Anyway, next. First step, you have to clean your lentils. They're all full of starch and other bits. So the first thing you want to do is sieve through with your hand, see if you can find any stones and things like that, and stray bits of other stuff that you want to get rid of. And then you want to run it through water a few times. I've got a sieve, um, there's a bunch of starch. The first time you're running through the water, it'll be gray. And then just keep running and running through until you've got the clear water. That'll all be cooked better and not less of the foamy stuff on the top and, you know, anyway. That's what you do first. Lentils are on for a simmer. How long do we simmer them? As long as we need to. This is one of those watch it and see. It's gonna be a minimum of sort of eight to 10 minutes, maximum 10 to 15, but watch it. Make sure it doesn't turn into a soup. Make sure it still looks like lentils. Just keep an eye on it and turn the, turn the heat right down. Take it off. For the, uh, the tudka that we throw into the lentils, I've got four uh, cloves of garlic. I'm gonna grate up that ginger. I'm gonna put these two, we'll take those back out after a few minutes. And I think I've settled on one onion rather than two onions. We'll fry that in again. So if you're a vegan, there is a vegetarian version of this. So I'm gonna use this today so it's only a vegetarian dish. But if you've got the pure vegetable ghee, this, this then becomes a vegan dish. Ghee in there, softening nicely. In with the dried chilies. Garlic's going in now, which gives you a hint that uh, this isn't gonna be cooking for very long. Turn the heat down. Because you can't burn garlic, garlic is horrible in this world. And the ginger, grated ginger. You can, if you wish, cook these onions for a lot longer till they go dark. The more time you give the onions, the more depth of taste. But we're doing a quick and easy simple one today, so these aren't going to be brown. Lentils are doing okay over there. Slowly coming to ready. Oh, those lentils are starting to look really good now. Right, uh, half a teaspoon of chili powder and again I'll come in into the tadka. Nearly ready. And we're at the finishing line. Let's turn everything off. The lentils are now buttery smooth. Let me move the tripod back a little bit. There we are. They are really, oh, 
just a little bit of salt and water, that's all that was. And now we're going to pour the tadka into there. And that is the finished article. It's really gorgeous. You can eat it with rice, but tonight I'm going to have a couple of chapatis and just get my spoon in. Thank you for listening. This is the easiest curry and the starter of using fresh spices and dried fresh spices. Thank you very much for listening. Like and subscribe. Cheers.